Google has officially launched a new age of AI-powered search, which will alter how we discover information, purchase online, and connect with the web. Seriously, this is big. It's one of the craziest things I've ever seen from Google, and I'll tell you everything about it in this video. I'll explain what Google's new AI search is, how to get it right now, who the emerging rivals in this sector are, and what this means for the future of search technology. You don't want to miss out on this, so let's get started. So what exactly is Google's new AI search and why should you be concerned? As you may be aware, Google is the clear market leader in search engine technology. Every day, it processes billions of requests and returns relevant results in a fraction of a second. However, Google isn't satisfied with just being the greatest. People have begun to seek answers from AI chatbots rather than Google as their popularity has grown. Google opted to include AI into its search engine in order to capitalize on this trend. Google has been utilizing AI to enhance its search engine for years, but with generative AI, they are pushing it to the next level. Generative AI is a sort of artificial intelligence that can generate new material or data from scratch using current data or inputs. So. Google is using generative AI to improve its search experience and present us with more dynamic, engaging, and creative results, which they refer to as the Search Generative Experience, or SGE for short. SGE was unveiled by Google during their annual developer conference, Google I.O., in May 2023. It was one of the event's highlights, generating a lot of buzz among AI and IT fans and specialists. SGE, according to Google, is the culmination of years of research and development in generative AI and will alter how we use search. So, what exactly is SGE and how does it work? SGE is a set of AI-powered features aimed at making search more conversational, contextual, and creative. SGE's key benefit is that it makes search more conversational. This means you can talk to Google in normal language and obtain answers to your questions. You no longer need to input keywords or phrases. For instance, if you want to learn how to cook pizza at home, you could just ask Google, Hey Google! How do I make pizza? And Google will answer with a synopsis of the procedures and ingredients from a relevant page. Then you may ask follow-up questions such as what kind of cheese should I use or how long should I bake it? This conversational feature makes searching more natural and intuitive. You don't have to consider how to frame your question or what keywords to use, just ask anything comes to mind. SGE also makes search more contextual, which means that Google can understand the context of your query and present you with more relevant and customized results based on your location, tastes, history, and other criteria. For example, if you inquire, what's the weather like today? Based on your device's GPS data, Google will provide the weather prediction for your present location. When asked, where can I buy flowers? Google will recommend florists in your area based on your location and availability. If you're wondering, what should I watch tonight? Google will provide suggestions based on your viewing history and interests. So, in essence, you no longer need to describe specifics or parameters. The most intriguing aspect of SGE is that it makes search more imaginative. This implies that, depending on your query or input, Google may employ generative AI to generate new material or data for you. For example, if you ask Google, show me some cool sneakers, it will display photos of footwear that do not yet exist but are developed by AI based on your style preferences and current trends. If you ask Google to write me a poem about love, it will use AI to create a poem for you depending on your mood and tone. So how do you get SGE right now? There are two methods for doing so, Search Labs and Performance Max. Search Labs is a new tool that allows you to test out new features before they are made accessible to everyone. You may participate by going to google.com slash labs and looking for experiments like conversation mode or picture production. You may utilize experiments by adding a hashtag to your search query to activate or disable them. For the time being, Search Labs is only available via invitation, but this should change shortly. The second method is to use Performance Max, a campaign type in Google Ads for marketers. It enables them to contact clients across Google's platforms by using AI. Advertisers establish a campaign, give data and assets, and then utilize SGE to produce bespoke assets. Ads are optimized and shown to appropriate consumers using Performance Max. Okay, this area is becoming more competitive with several competitors participating. Vectara, a firm that promises to provide a better generative AI conversational search engine than Google, is one of the main rivals. According to Vectara, their technology differs from Google's in that it employs hybrid search, which combines semantic search based on LLMS and Boolean exact match based on keywords to identify the most relevant results from millions of documents. 
It also employs grounded generation, which implies that its generating system is based only on facts and data given by the creators and does not train models on user data or invent falsehoods. Vectara also claims that their platform is language agnostic, meaning that it can accommodate queries and data in any language and provide cross-language search results. It values user privacy by not keeping or sharing personal information. Vectara, founded in 2022 by former Google employees, has earned $25 million in financing and collaborated with firms including Shopify, Slack, and Spotify. According to Goldman Sachs analyst Heather Bellini, Vectara is a disruptor in the AI search area and has the potential to take a big chunk of the market by providing a better user experience and more accurate results. Of course, Google and Vectara are not the only companies involved in AI search. Many other technology businesses are incorporating generative AI into their search experiences and fighting for a piece of this market. Microsoft is one of them, and it has been employing AI to enhance its Bing search engine for years. Microsoft recently announced several new Bing features that use generative AI such as Bing Answers, which provides direct answers to queries, Bing Image Generator, which creates images based on text descriptions, and Bing Content Creator, which writes content such as summaries or captions based on keywords. Elasticsearch is another famous open-source search engine that powers numerous websites and apps. Elasticsearch has just announced Elasticsearch Generative Search, EGS, a new service that allows developers to rapidly construct search apps using generative AI models from Google and others. Both Google and Vectara's stock prices have risen significantly following the release of their generative AI search tools. According to some experts, this adjustment might be a game-changer for Google, increasing its income by $100 billion by 2025. Microsoft and Elasticsearch's stock prices have also increased following the announcement of their new generative AI search tools. However, in comparison to Google and Vectara, their increases have been more moderate since they face greater competition and obstacles in this field. Over time, search engines have progressed through three important stages, information retrieval engines, answer engines, and now action engines. Information retrieval engines such as Alta, Vista, and Yahoo were the first search engines to develop in the 1990s and early 2000s. They displayed a list of links based on keywords and links. Nevertheless, they had limitations since they depended on users inputting particular terms and often produced irrelevant results. In the late 2000s and early 2010s, search engines such as Google and Bing developed. They deployed artificial intelligence methods to present visitors with immediate answers to their questions without forcing them to visit additional websites. Despite their use, they had limitations such as not comprehending the emotions or preferences behind inquiries and sometimes offering biased responses. We now have action engines that are powered by powerful AI algorithms using conversational interfaces these engines, such as ChatGPT and DALI, may produce new material depending on user questions. They provide individualized results based on customers' fashion choices and current trends. However, action engines confront difficulties in establishing confidence in AI-generated content and striking a balance between inventiveness and realism. So, the transformation is taking place, Google is cranking up its AI game, and it will affect the way we search for stuff. Isn't it cool? But what are your thoughts? How will this affect your internet usage? Remember, we're all on this path together. To remain up to date, subscribe and give this video a thumbs up. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.